Welcome back to TVC News and now to our Sunday specials where the deplorable state of federal roads in Benue is now a source of genuine concern to the state government. It's appealing to the federal government to urgently rehabilitate all the bad roads and construct uh, fallen bridges where they are needed in order to ease transportation within the state and mitigate unnecessary accidents. Mayowa Okunwato reports. Last year, a petrol tanker fully loaded traveling from Port Harcourt to Makodi attempted to avoid a pothole in a settlement along Alede Makodi Federal Highway but lost control because of the bad condition of the road. The petrol tanker capsized, spilling its contents on the road and resulting in a fire outbreak. Over 70 persons lost their lives in this accident, with some of the victims burnt beyond recognition. Many federal roads in Benue State are also in deplorable condition. Some federal government roads within Benue State are Makodi Naka Road, Makodi Boko to Kastinala, and Makodi Alide to Otupo Road, linking Enugu. Most of them have been completely washed away. Governor Samuel Otom has made several appeals to the federal government to come to their aid. I want to also appeal that Mr. President should passionately look at the issue of our roads in Benue State. I know the times are hard, but we need intervention. This is a desperate call that we need intervention in most of our roads here in Benue State. Road users complain about the risks they go through plying these roads. We affect my car every day. I change my uh, every week. I change my band brakes, my bow joints. So I want to uh, please. I want the government talk to the government. You should come and do this road for us. This road has been like this for the past five years, and the journey of uh, less than 30 minutes will take off to two hours, three hours every day. Vehicle for here. We have accidents on this road every day. Iyum Road is another bad road. Drivers have to divert off the road to drive on its sleeves to avoid damaging their vehicles or getting stuck. Even dogs have taken it as their natural habitat. Paul, a cyclist who fell with the load he was carrying on his motorbike as a result of the condition of the road, he says he's used to falling, but... You yeah, can't take it that's anymore. That's why we do for you every day. Yeah. Because of this road. You know, say this road bad where we are. Yeah. So our machine the for you. Even the motors too, they don't feel pass here. Because of this bad road. See, now I carry this uh, road as I come. I carry this road from Ben to Hugh. I don't fall anywhere, but see, as I come for you. Nothing make me fall. My machine no get problem. And I, they fit. These dilapidated roads are also unsafe as the portals make it easier for armed robbers to lay ambush and rob passengers of their valuables. The Katsina Ala Bridge has also not been repaired for a long time and is on the verge of collapsing due to constant use by heavy trucks who are at high risks of falling into ridges. Behind me is the popular Kasnala Bridge that connects the north to the eastern part of Nigeria. As you can see also behind me is a truck falling down as a result of bad federal roads in the state. Uh, the road damaged our cars and uh, it made customers complain to us that we are hitting them on the car so much. Uh, at the end of the day, when I close from work, I must take a uh, paracetamol or any other thing, headache, body pain. We receive all that because of the bad road. Some people, without being asked, just take on the responsibility of trying to make road more maturable by sand filling portals. You come across them no matter which part of the country you may be driving through bad roads in Nigeria. This is also a way for them to earn some cash from motorists who appreciate their efforts to make life easier for others. I was in Taraba State before, so snake had bat me in Taraba State, that's why I caught in my life. I'm doing it because the road is poor, and I'm doing it to get what to feed myself. Dena 
with his condition is one of them who we met on our way from Castanala. He says there used to be three of them, but one of them was hit by a car and died a few months back. We are doing it in three of us, but one of them have died. Motu have joined in Mandela, so he have died. So mean me and the other guy. The Federal Roads Maintenance Agency, FEMA, is tasked with the responsibility of maintaining roads and improving the connectivity between the states in Nigeria. Partial rehabilitation has started on some of the roads, but work is yet to start on many others. Efforts to reach the agency to understand the reason for the delay was to no avail. But it is time for the federal government to pay attention repairing roads in Benue, as this would benefit its economy and guarantee safety for road users. Mayowa Okwanto, TVC News. And that's TVC News this hour featuring Sunday specials tonight. Thank you so much for watching. Good night.